Hi, this is John Franner from Clego Marine. I want to talk to you a minute about um, synthetic staining rigging and why we use Dyneema SK75 uh, for synthetic staining rigging. There's a few other newer chemistries now that actually have lower stretch at the fiber level, at the molecular level. Um, SK99, SK90, um, there's DM20 also that has zero creep. Um, but the one issue with using those for standing rigging is the fact that you get construction elongation with those. Um, the SK90 and 99 are fibers that are heat stretched at the fiber level. Then the line is braided and uh, heat stretched at the braided level. Uh, well, heat stretching work hardens Dyneema for all effective purposes. It's not necessarily called that, but heat treating it, stretching it at, at, uh, at elevated temperature, basically work hardens the material and makes it harder. Um, this is why a piece of SK75 Dyneema is very, very hard to the touch. Um, it's one of the reasons. The other reason it's very compact. Um, now you'll notice on the end, now this is cut with a very, very sharp knife and you can see just how compact that is. Both ends of this line. This is Dyneema SK75 and this is the reason why we use it because you can cut it with a sharp knife and it's like cutting a 12 celled, or in this case, since it's 24 strand 2 by 12, um, it's like a 24 strand um, single piece of, of plastic. Uh, so that really translates into um, very, very low constructional elongation. When you pull on a rope, the strands want to do this. Well, with SK75 Dyneema, that um, braided line is set. It, it's basically minimized. It's as compact as it's going to get. And that means that it can't do this anymore, uh, which translates into elongation. So the line is not going to elongate under load over time. Uh, which is the number one problem with using braided line uh, for standing rigging. You put a constant load on it, and it's going to want to keep doing this over time, unless it can't, which is where SK75 is. Now, I don't have a piece of it with me, but a piece of SK90 or 99, if you cut it, those strands are going to fall apart. They're not going to hold together, which means there's space between those strands. There's space enough to allow it to do this over time, which means it grows. So uh, that that's an issue. A lot of people call that creep. It's not creep. Creep is another animal that I'm going to talk about in some other videos. But um, this is the reason why we use Dyneema SK75, because when it's heat stretched at the braided line level, it compacts the whole system. Um, and you don't get that elongation, which is a problem with, with the newer chemistries, SK90 and SK99. Um, so if anybody asks you, why not use this other one that doesn't stretch as much, they're right. On the strand level, on the molecular level, 90 and 99 have less stretch, a little bit less stretch, not a lot. Um, but when it's braided, it causes issues like this construction elongation thing I talked about. So um, there's a lot of information on this on our uh, website, syntheticstandingrigging.com. Uh, please check that out and um, look forward to uh, getting some more videos with more information on our rigging out there to you guys. And uh, please let us know if you have any questions for these FAQ Fridays. We'll, uh, we'll keep pumping them out and uh, keep getting the word out and try to keep everybody going in the right direction. Thanks, guys. Take care.